What's up, y'all? It's another day of creation. I'm not in the mood to talk, but I will because <laughs> I don't know why. Um, okay, so what are you doing, Monique? I don't know. I was thinking about making some kind of positive quote, faith, reference whatever book but then i'm like man just use the back of your pages because then if you're like finished with that then you can go and you know do whatever you want so i found this cute image there is what's called a mental health check-in and then i i just got all these quotes um, I was in bed early in the morning and I just found them on Pinterest. Put your positive pants on. You're allowed to rest when you're not okay. God is still good. God is good even if your heart hurts. Even if your whole world seems to be breaking. God's goodness doesn't depend on your situation. You could continue trusting him despite your circumstance. He's still good even when life is not. So, I don't know if I want to put all of this in here. But I think I want to kind of like... Oh my gosh, this is, you stay there. I really love this one. So, I don't know, I just kind of wanted an area where I can go and reference. I used to always call it lists that encourage. Um, put your, from, from blessed to stress. I'm gonna read that one, that one's really good too. Again, Pinterest. I don't know how to say it any any other way other than if you don't know how to save an image from the internet, just screenshot. If you don't know how to screenshot, Google how to screenshot on my phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? From stress to bless. Isn't it amazing how God can turn our worries and trials to blessing? If you're stressed about something today, know that you have a choice. You can either keep worrying or you can surrender it all to God and choose to pray about everything. There is power in having faith that God can work all things out for your good. So, oh, there went the glue stick. So I thought, put, so I'm just going to like pre-set out some pretty pages for me to just write on. So I don't know if it's journaling or I don't know what to call it, but whatever. I'm, again, I get in the mood. I strike. <laughs> Um, so my glue fell on the floor. Um, yeah. So let's see, let's just put, I don't know, let's just put some pretty stickers. Flowers, you know. Let's talk about when you have those days. You know, what do you do? Do you resort to the negative? Because I know I do. I immediately, my brain is fixated on all of the bad. So I have to fight real hard to tell myself, hey, it's going to be okay. God is good. You're still blessed. You still have you know, an amazing life. And this too shall pass. Like, I've worked so hard, not in my own strength throughout the years, to just try my hardest. Because I came from a really chaotic childhood. Oh. <clears throat> so... I'm going to use that one there. So, I, it, it, you know, I have to... It, 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 I mean, I don't even know how to explain it other than... It's not a choice to be like, hey, yeah, let me just be positive. Like, I am trying to survive every day. Someone asked me, how are you? Surviving. <laughs> Blessed. Thankful. Uh, but still sad, depressed. You know, it's it just sucks. It sucks. It is what it is. 
so that's why and I didn't grow up with like any kind of mentor woman like my mom wasn't it for me the only one I really had was my ex-mother-in-law she raised me I mean she was the woman I looked at when it came to a mother figure and um, to this day she is very much inspirational to me in my own way um, what is today Thursday Oh my gosh, it's the end of the month. February. Uh, 29th, 2024. So, I can do prayers. I can do some kind of scripture. I could just write, I could just journal. So I have so many other things. There's also this thing I found online. It's called mental health check-in. How are you feeling? What is contributing to this feeling? Three things that could make it better. What shapes this feeling? Three biggest emotions this week. Triggers for those emotions. Three things you feel right about now. And three things you're looking forward to. So how about I take some of those and put the things I'm looking forward to. What are you looking forward to, Monique? I have no idea. <laughs> so let's try to stay present-minded. Today's the 29th. I have to go to the doctors at like four. I am looking forward to, I don't know, seeing my family together when my my hubs comes home when my son comes home i'm looking forward to <laughs> um enjoying the cool weather because it's cooler today benny get out of there sir Listen, dog. Come over here, mama. Come here, mama, and then come on, Nanny. Hey, cabron. Um, I I'm not gonna lie. Laying on couch while scrolling. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like my life. I love it. Um. So that's looking forward to, and it's like, okay, what are three things that you feel good about right now? Oh man, this is hard. Um, especially when I'm struggling, which I am. Three things. One, two, three. Um, I feel good about having health, safety, I don't know if I spelled that right, and provision, like, I've been in a whole lot worse before, um, where I've never been in a safe environment, you know, my health is jacked, or I don't have money, or things to take care of the home when I was younger, so um, I feel good about my marriage, and its growth. I feel good about being creative and writing and sharing and being transparent and vulnerable. You know, like I am just, I don't work towards that. Now, I think it ties into my anxiety a lot. Like I have to process, like would I be able to sit right here with a bunch of chicks and talk about it maybe ones that I'm really close to but I have worked hard to I don't know how to say this other than to say it to try to be normal because I have felt like I have not so 
throughout the years of growth. So obviously I'm 42 years old, so I've learned some good coping mechanisms. Um, three things that could make it better. Oh, wow. Um, I know the feeling of why I'm feeling like this, but I'm not willing to share it. So I'm just kind of like processing out with me knowing what it is. What could make it better is <laughs> me not having to leave the house. I have to check up on my hysterectomy and all that follow up. And I know that I have to do it, but I'm like, I don't want to go and deal with the whole process. So what could make that better is just not having to leave the house and driving adulting basically um if we got good news about situation i'm just gonna put that i know what the situation is and If I could buy <laughs> a Gilio undyed without feeling guilty. Honestly, I won't do it. Trust me, I won't. Because number one, these, these, these prices out here are off the chain. Like, I cannot believe you guys. <laughs> so yeah, this, this right here, this helped. And then like, um, my friend's probably going to make this for me in, in a standard size because I really like that. I mean, obviously I can, I can go ahead and write it in or process it out that way. I know you guys, I don't know if you remember, but if you were on my live or if you follow me on Instagram, I was sharing how I wanted to make some type of like self care, burn, faith, something, book. I, I still don't know. I haven't processed it out. So in the meantime, I just put stuff in the back in, of my commonplace book. And if you're completely new to this channel and you're like, who the heck is this chick? I do not link things. I do not really edit. I do not. I film for me first because I just need to. And then I love just trying to be a light in the community. I'm very transparent. I will tell you like it is. Um, if you're shady, I'm going to call you out. I just, I don't know. I hate injustice. I hate racism. I hate bullies. I hate like people that are liars and just mean for no reason. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it other than that's just me. I've always been that way. Um, well, I haven't always been that way. I learned to be that way. Um, I'm also neurodivergent with neurodivergent children. I was late diagnosed. Um, I think that was one of the best things that could have happened to me because for so many years I thought I was just bonkers, honestly. Um, I like to film daily because it lets me enjoy my hobby. I have no rules for my planning creating i also have monthly books that i do emotionally fragile handle with care how adorbs i've been obsessed with printing things like this and then sticking them on like a book or whatever so i might stick some at the front of this book i don't know i've just been obsessed with trying to just embrace me and then also, I have very strict boundaries. Um, I think that I'm a really cool person, honestly, until someone like really crosses me. And then I'm just, I will cut you out of my life in 2.5 seconds. Like, and pretend like you never existed. Is it the greatest habit to have? No, <laughs> but it's true. So that's me. After like, this I think I might like I don't know I like putting things like that and like I don't know so I might kind of keep these but I really do like me and my son right there 
Um, it's okay to feel all the emotions, sadness, joy, uncertainty, whatever it is. Just don't give up. Let me guess you like that. Let's put that right there. Right. Just don't give up. I always say have a pity party, camp out there, but don't do it for so long. Like, Just don't. If you're going to do it, do it. Give yourself a, a time frame. I also bought these. Well, I put them on my Walmart order. So I got these tapes so that I could put it in this cool little thing that I stole from my husband. <laughs> He's going to come back and take it from me at some point. But then I'm going to be like, give it to me. Give it to me, dude. Because I'm always losing my tape. And I feel like this could help me not lose my tape. Because it's such a big apparatus thing here. And then, I don't know. I think like it's cheaper. I think these were like $1.50 at Walmart these rolls and oh, is the invisible tape the one I don't like I like this type and I don't know what that is if it is I'm gonna be kind of mad I mean I'm gonna use it but oh no it's this one yeah 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 because I was like oh and then I got my tabs because I need those for next month's book Two-sided. Oh, man, I didn't know they were two-sided. I can write on the other side, too, Monique. Uh, duh. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't even know what this, this movie, oh, my goodness, this video was. But it was fun to process. I've got my YouTube stuff here. I told myself, make a quote book, happy book, or paste in stuff. Um, this is not really working, so I think I'm going to use this more for prayers this week. Um, it was more like an affirmations page, current uses. I got journaling. I got this one page because I'm going to journal. And then this is my little area. So I don't like these glue sticks, but I bought my husband bought me four of them. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to put that right there. I still have more to cut out. Um, let's just cut them out real fast and read them in case you want some encouragement and you need some we cannot always choose the music life plays but we can choose how to dance to it and it's so true I was just telling my son this you know adversity is going to come that is going to come and how you deal with life completely matters and you know the goal is to be a good human love others try your hardest if you don't love them i mean just be kind to them extend grace to yourself try to forgive yourself ask god for you know provision and wisdom and just try to be a good person throughout some of these adversities because forgiveness is hard <laughs> so anyhow Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> God bless you guys.